Every amateur fireworker wants to be able to make a beautiful blue-green star with easy-to-obtain, cheap ingredients. Zinc metal dust has been the way to go with granite stars and pearl streamer stars. It produces a beautiful color, but the stars are rather heavy and zinc metal is pretty expensive. So I'm on a quest to make blue-green stars with easy-to-obtain, cheap ingredients. Coming up. Okay, so here's a look at the ingredients that I think are going to end up in these stars. Barium sulfate, which is easy to obtain and you can actually ingest it, though I wouldn't suggest it, is going to be the main oxidizer and colorant in this mixture. I have found several pyrotechnic compositions that use barium sulfate, but they all also call for ammonium perchlorate, which is very hard to obtain. Not to mention expensive. Now, before you guys freak out on me and say, barium sulfate isn't easy to obtain, well, it is. You can be found in almost any science lab and is used for some medical purposes. Here's a green flash recipe using barium sulfate. However, this reaction is way too fast. I need to slow this down and enhance the color a little bit. To enhance the color, I am going to be using copper sulfate. It is easy to obtain, and if you can't find it, you can make it. It is not a necessary ingredient, but it will really make the color much nicer. Keep in mind that when using copper sulfate, it can break down and form sulfuric acid, possibly reacting with other chemicals in the mixture and causing it to spontaneously combust. This is a big no-no, so make sure that you don't use anything with a chlorate in it because that makes it especially sensitive. I am not, so my composition should be very safe. I would still not store these stars for very long. Notice how this acts almost like a strobe star? I'll get into the chemistry of that later in the video. This is definitely the color I'm going for, but it's a little bit washed out, so I want to slow this reaction down so that you can see it in real life. This was using magnesium as a fuel, so my fuel of choice is going to be dark aluminum powder. This needs a little bit more time in the mill, but it'll be ready soon. The next ingredient I'm using is sulfur. This acts as a fuel modifier and lowers the ignition point of the mixture. Believe it or not, the main reason I'm using potassium nitrate in this mixture is to slow it down. This is a lot closer, and keep in mind this is loose powder. You can actually see the color in real time, and keep in mind that I was using magnesium as a fuel, which is going to wash out the color. I should get better results once I start using aluminum. The last thing that this mixture needs is a binder so that I can press it into a star. However, dextrin won't really work, seeing as I'm not using charcoal as a main fuel, so I'm going to be using guar gum. Guar gum is a polysaccharide that is extracted from guar beans. It is used as a thickening agent in cooking, so it should work well for our purposes here. Another reason I have chosen guar gum and not dextrin to bind this mixture is because I'm going to be wetting it with alcohol so as not to react with the aluminum or magnesium that I use as a fuel. If I do have to wet the mixture with water, I will add some boric acid to protect the metal fuel. Okay, so here's a rundown of the color that each material burns. You guys probably already know, but in case you don't, here it is. Barium sulfate burns green. Copper sulfate burns a bluish green. Aluminum burns white, and the carbon coating will give a very insignificant orange. It will not show up in the mixture. Sulfur burns blue, potassium nitrate burns purple, and being an organic compound, I would guess that guar gum burns orange, though I've never tested it. I have also heard of PVC being used as a binder and a chlorine donor to intensify color. I may experiment with that if necessary. Some pyrotechnic compositions also use rosin as a binder. It can be made from pine sap, and I have a video on that on my channel if you'd like to check it out. It's actually the first video I ever posted. I would also wet the mixture with alcohol or acetone if I was using rosin as a binder. I know that rosin can work as a binder because they use it to bind incense, 
and I have found several pyrotechnic compositions, which are mainly yellow, which utilize it in this way. So here's the problem with using barium sulfate as a color and oxidizer in the reaction. Barium sulfate, being a sulfate, has four oxygen atoms that are released when it breaks down. This oxygen-rich environment supports very rapid combustion, making it so that the color is only very brief and very intense. However, I want a good visual effect that people can enjoy, and so I want to slow it down so that you can actually see it. If you do have ammonium perchlorate, you can make a green strobe star using barium sulfate, and you don't have to worry about slowing it down, because what happens is on the outside of the star, it reacts very violently, creating a flash, and then an inner part of the star is exposed, so it can also react in that way, resulting in the strobe effect. However, I do not have ammonium perchlorate, so I have to figure out how to do it some other way. That is why I have chosen to use potassium nitrate to slow down the mixture. It shouldn't change the color too much, but it should slow it down to create a visual effect. Now I'm going to press the stars very tightly because as you can see, barium sulfate is very chalky. I need to press it very tightly so that the stars do not crumble when they are in the intense pressures of the shell. I'm going to press these stars using some homemade tooling. It's essentially a very high pressure star pump. I'll show that in a future video. But for now, that's all. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.